Quinn. Hi, Cooper Quinn here, president of Osprey Gold. We're excited to announce the final 2017 results from the Goldenville Main Zone Drill Program, covering nearly 800 meters of strike length on both limbs of the Goldenville Anticline in the vicinity of our existing Goldenville resource. Nearly all of the eight holes Osprey is reporting today hit multiple intervals of mineralization, including hole GT17-08, which intersected high-grade mineralization, 98 grams per ton over 0.7 meters, as well as broader, lower-grade intersections like 2.7 grams per ton over 6.9 meters. 115 meters to the east of this hole, hole GT17-15 intersected 1.52 grams per ton over 14.4 meters. Both of these holes were drilled to the south on the north limb of the anticline in the vicinity of the Blue Nose Shaft area, significantly to the east of any previous drilling by the company and in an underexplored area across Highway 7. On the southern limb, holes GT17-14 intersected 52 grams per ton over 0.7 meters within a broader intercept of 6.22 grams per ton over 6.3 meters. This hole indicates the mineralized structure is open along strike to the east possibly as much as 750 meters to hold GT17-12, covering an area with no historic drilling and very little historic mining. These results at Goldenville should add, enable Osprey to add ounces to the company's existing resource at Goldenville, show the potential for broad zones of mineralization within the host rock, as well as open an area of significant potential on the southern limb of the anticline. For a full table of significant results, figures, and maps, please see the news release on the company's website. As well, keep an eye out for pending Mitchell Lake results, approximately 3.5 kilometers to the east of the Goldenville main zone, and the final results from 2017.